Okay, we're going to go over exercise 1415, and that would be on page 743 of your book, and we're going to talk about reporting bonds at fair value. And the question reads, on January 1st, 2009, Rapid Airlines issued 200 millions of its 8% bonds for $184 million. The bonds were priced to yield 10%. Interest is payable semi-annually on June 30th and December 31st. Rapid Airlines records interest at the effective rate and elected the option to report these bonds at their fair value. On December 31st, 2009, the fair reported value of the bonds was $188 million, as determined by their market value in the over-the-counter market. So, number one, we want to prepare the journal entry to record interest on June 30th, 2009, which would be the first, in, the first payment. Well, as what we're going to do then is, first of all, we know what the cash, we know what the cash price is of interest that we're going to pay. So let's start with our cash, and I'm going to indent this because we're going to credit it. Our cash is going to be calculated by taking our four percent, which is six percent, six percent interest over that period of time, and we're going to take that times. 200 million okay that is going to give us our interest of eight million dollars we'll format that of eight million dollars our interest expense interest expense will be And that's going to be calculated at 5%, which is the market interest rate that they were issued at, times our $184 million, which was the amount that we sold them for. Okay, so I have $184 million. My first interest expense is $9,200,000. Okay, the remaining is going to be the discount on our bonds. So that's going to be our difference. So we're going to credit that. It's going to be discount on bonds. And we're going to, which is just going to be the difference. Okay, so our difference in this case will be uh, one million two hundred thousand dollars. That bounces our entry. Okay, our second requirement on there is we want to prepare the entry to record the interest expense as of uh, December thirty-first for our second payment. So here we go. We are going to again. I'm just going to cheat here. Okay, our cash interest remains the same. It's still going to be 4% times our $200 million face value of the bonds. Okay, so that's still going to be our $8 million. Okay, our interest expense will change slightly in that we need to add not only our $184,000 uh, issuance price, but we need to add the... Uh, the bond discount that we took in the previous interest payment. Okay, so it's going to be 5% times 184,000 plus a million two. We do that calculation, that comes out to 9,260,000 ,000 of interest expense that we are going to be, whoops, one too many zeros of interest expense that we're going to be taking. Our difference, again, is going to be 1260000 which is our discount on the bonds. Okay, now, for, again, fairly straightforward there. So again, finally, our third requirement is going to, we need to adjust to the fair value for presentation on our balance sheet, because we have declared that option. 
Well, the interest, the first thing we need to remember is our interest, our fair value was a hundred and at December 31st, the fair market value determined on the over the counter market was $188 million. So we're $108 million of basis. So what's our book value? Well, our book value is going to go start off with our is going to be starting off with our 184 million. Okay. Then we need to increase by the million 200,000 that we took prior on the um, on the first interest payment, the discount, and also the amortization of the second bond discount, which would be a million two hundred sixty thousand. Okay, so that amount is um, brings us to a book value of brings us a book value of a um, hundred and eighty six million. Four hundred whoops and sixty thousand. Okay. The amount of our fair value is a hundred and eighty eight million, so we're gonna need a million five hundred and forty thousand to adjust our balance sheet to the fair value. So what accounts do we need? Well, this is going to be a fair value adjustment. So we're going to need to we're going to increase our liability. So we're going to have a fair let's call it our fair value adjustment which is our 188 million fair value minus our book value of 186 million 460 thousand okay the account that we're going to offset that is called it's going to be called our unrealized holding loss okay and that's the entry we make again unrealized means it wouldn't be you know it wouldn't be realized unless we you know cancel or sold the bonds so that is how we do our fair adjustment and if also if we would have had you know and again if we would do this same entry continuing on for the next period if we had ended up where the value um, we had an un a unrealized holding loss or gain we could go and make that adjustment we can consider the adjustment we already made remember you're going to have that million five hundred forty thousand adjustment loss and then if we end up having a two million dollar gain we're going to end up netting those together for presentation of our balance sheet. But that's all that's to it.